Oke, okay, uh, I'll show you how to extract uh, graffiti data from DGM Plus file using uh, MATLAB. In this uh, video, I use MATLAB 7.8 or MATLAB 2009, but newer uh, version of MATLAB should uh, work too, I think. Okay, uh, first, uh, you uh, we have to change the directory of uh, MATLAB uh, this uh, yeah the, the, direct, the MATLAB directory into uh, our GGM plus data directory. In this case, my GGM plus file or GGM plus data are located in this uh, folder. Okay, the, this is the directory. And uh, this is the structure of this of that uh, directory. Uh, the GM plus folder uh, structure is like this. So uh, well, I I have the GNGA folder, and inside those folder I have uh, graffiti disturbance data. The DG folder uh, are from. Uh, 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 well, is is contain this uh, disturbance data and the DGA data is gravity acceleration data. I have two version of DGM bus data. If you have if you have other uh, other types of DGM plus data, you can put them into uh, the specific folder. Uh, make the folder name exactly like the the one on the DGM plus database. Uh, so this is exactly like uh, DGM plus database. We have DG and GA. Okay. To extract the data, uh, we we have to run this M file, the test access GM plus, and this is the the code. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First, we have to set the directory of uh, the GGM plus data in this line. Via these lines, we can uh, set uh, the path. Uh, this is my GGM plus path. Uh, the, uh, the outer folder, yes. Not the DG or GA, just uh, data GGM plus. Then uh, this is the no data value. Uh, this is default, so you you don't have to change. You have to change it. Then this is uh, the area. This is uh, yes. This defines the area you want to extract. Uh, for example, I I use this uh, area. This area must be within the the extent of uh, your data for example this in this uh, case i have uh, 8 dg data with various uh, extent so if you if you have um, what uh, your area of interest that you uh, you write in this part is within the extent of this data then you have you can extract the data but if you if, uh, if the area you you set in this part is not within the extra extent of the data inside your DG folder then uh, the output is uh, will be uh, nothing you uh, you you won't get an output. Yes. Okay. Then this is uh, for example, I choose this area. Uh, negative value means that uh, it is southern uh, latitude. Okay. If uh, northern latitude doesn't have negative value, so positive. But if the latitude is on the southern area, then it must be set to negative. 
Nah, this is the, the example. Ya, yeah. uh, yes. Oh, this is the example of the structure of the folder you have to make. Yeah, if you have XE data, then you have you must have XE folder. If you have ETA data, then you you must have ETA folder, the fo a folder named ETA, and then you put all the ETA folder into this. Uh, ETA, uh, ETA file into this ETA folder, something like that. Yeah, uh, the HA into the geoid, uh, something like that. Okay. Okay. This is the uh, interpolation or the sampling. Uh, if you sampling factor, right? if you set, uh, if you want full resolution of uh, GGM plus data, then you have to set this uh, line, uh, this value into 1.0. In fact, uh, sampling factor uh, on the x x direct uh, direction and this for the y direction. Uh, you can uh, choose different value for x and y. It doesn't have to be the same. But if you if you want to have a uh, what square data then uh, you have to uh, uh, set the x and y into same uh, value this is the sampling factor sampling factor is uh, for example if you have uh, your grid data is raw grid data is uh, 50 by 50 uh, grid if you set the sampling factor into 5 then the output you will have is uh, 10 by 10 so uh, 50 uh, divided by 5 uh, this is uh, divided by the sampling factor something like that uh, the resolution will be lower uh, because the data amount is uh, what well, uh, decrease so the resolution will be worse and this uh, line 50 uh, is uh, sampling method yeah. sampling method yeah this is uh, it's up to you what what type of uh, interpolation methods you want to use if you have uh, if you set this one 1.0 1.0 then you don't need to think about interpolation method because uh, it will be the same as the raw data of GGM plus but if you have uh, if you want to have a smaller amount of data or uh, uh, greater interval or you have you want to have greater interval into your data then you must think about the interpolation methods because yeah different interpolation method will will have different uh, different image yeah, something like that okay next is the uh, types of data you want to extract this part is basically choosing what data you want to extract if you want to extract acceleration data then you have to activate this line if you want to extract uh, gravity disturbance or uh, the gravity anomaly data then you must activate this line in this case i want to extract gravity disturbance data or anomaly data so i activate the uh, 40 eh, 54 line this line okay and this is only the test access it doesn't uh, it's, it's not too important so you can left Left them as uh, as they are, or or if you want to <coughs> uh, what uh, 
to be careful just in case you have you can uh, specify the coordinate to a coordinate that is within your uh, your area of interest yeah. for example if my area of interest is uh, the extent is something like this so to make sure my this point is inside the area so i can change the directory uh, I, I can check the, uh, change the value by something like this maybe uh, 111 point uh, 0.4 then the latitude is uh, 8 point 25 uh, something like this okay Nah, ini, this is the interpolation method. Uh, you can set the same as uh, this. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the important. This, uh, this is important. So, uh, what's important in these uh, lines is this Z, uh, Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5. You have to remember this. If, for example, if you uh, want to extract uh, gravity data, gravity disturbance data, uh, the Z is Z1. Okay. Uh, Z2 is for gravity acceleration. Uh, okay. So we can re we we must remember this Z1. The x is x y x one we have z y one and z one. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, ah, this. This is uh, where you put the output of your data. Uh, the output data will be placed in this uh, in this uh, path. And the name, the types you can set also. Maybe I have, uh, I will change the name into uh, DG test. Okay. Okay. Then, ah, yes. Okay. Why we have to remember the Z? Because we have to change this part. This uh, in this line, it is uh, it writes Z2. Z2 is for gravity acceleration. So if I run this, my digitest txt will be zero, or uh, we have nothing inside. But if we change into Z1, it will give the output of uh, gravity disturbance data. So this is. We can we have to change this uh, part of line 161. Okay. Okay. Uh, then we can run the end file. Okay. Uh, change directory. Uh, okay. We wait a bit. Uh, so this. This is uh, the process is running. You can see the via the common window of the MATLAB. This is the um, uh, the data, uh, the test access. Yeah. Uh, if you have uh, this graphic or this output graphic, it means that uh, your tiles is not zero, is not empty. It has values, okay. and the extent of uh, this is the extent of your gravity disturbance data. Uh, you can check this by looking at uh, the line 27 to 30. Yeah. Uh, longitude is uh, 
111.6 this and the maximum longitude is 112 this is 112 the minimum latitude is minus 8.45 this is minus uh, 8.45 this is uh, the maximum is minus 8 this is minus 8 so this is your data which is uh, displayed by the code okay next we check the data we check if uh, the process can uh, extract the data into file uh, ah, this is the file with g test okay if uh, uh, this is the data the value of your data exported into txt okay. okay basically that is what you need to do uh, what is this uh, data this uh, this column is longitude this is latitude and this is the gravity dis disturbance column okay Okay, uh, that's it. I hope you understand uh, about what I said because maybe uh, my English speaking is not very good. My pronunciation may be a bit difficult to understand. I'm sorry, but I hope you understand what uh, what what I have said and what I have uh, demonstrated. Okay, thank you.